Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Express your love. Impeccability of the word can be measured by a level of self-love. If you love yourself, you'll express that love and your interactions with others, and that action will produce a like reaction. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 129, NASDAQ up 142, S&P's up 31. Gold, gold contract trading up $2.10 at 1881 an ounce. You get silver down 8 cents, $22.15 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $3.11. $77.22 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, down nine ticks, trading 113.06. The 30-year off 22 at 128.10, and King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading, where are you? Up, uh, trading down 106 at 103.515. The euro is at 107. The yen is at 1. 31 and the British pounds at 120 to 1 US dollar. And you can see this. This is such a trip, man. This is like a trader's paradise, folks. The bottom line, when I did the update, you can see the dollar was at 220. The SPs were at up 40. They're up 28. We'll go through, the, we're going to go right into the SPs because the bottom line is that that was a test, a failure of a test. The contraction of volume is amazing. <laughs> this will be really crazy if it goes right back down the other end. But this is how markets work, man. And, you know, the range is so dramatic out here today. It's just amazing, folks. Okay. Meaning amazing in the context now, you can flip positions around. So, what we just did the bottom line when I was doing the update, the update, we were at uh, 41.68. Well, we're 16 points lower than that right now. What it done, it got over the swing here of that uh, 41.62. That had 97,000 contracts, and guess what? We're still on this one. So right now, you're at, you got one minute left. So you had the test and the failure with 40. So right now, it's 48,000 contracts. Bottom line, the next bar is going to be really crucial. Why, folks? Because what has happened is it. All the way up to a price point of 41.39. The first leg down, I suspect, is going to take us to 41.39. And the reason I'm saying that, if you're watching me on the screen here on the Bloomberg, that has 78,000 contracts at the high. So the way that when you look at a price and volume, the bottom line, we have failure on price and volume at the highs. And you can see the contraction was pretty dramatic. Now the question is going to be, how does it get into that 4139? So if we build cars going sideways for, you know, 10 or 15 minutes, then get out of the way. Because uh, that would be saying that you not only get into it, you'll get into it and blow that baby away. That's on your S&Ps. We go into the NQs. We take a look at the NQs. Okay, so NQs out here. Pull that up. Same setup. You're going to see the NQs. That's, the NQs failed at uh, 12,704. When I just did the update, it was at 12,730. And the bottom line, we just gave up 50 points there. Now, in the NQs, the number is 620. 12,620, so that's 60 points lower than we are right now. We'll see how this baby shakes out. Let's get over to the dollar because that was crazy, man, that it, it, it got 100 ticks in five minutes. And you can see what happens. 100 ticks in the uh, dollar, <laughs> bottom line, brings you down 14 points in the S&P, which is a total mind blower. And look at, you know, we don't have volume up, but look at that bar. That bar is like, that's a strong bar. There's no doubt about it. It hit right when I was doing the, up the update. 103, went from 103, 407, to 103,530. Uh, oh, no, no, hold on. Was, yeah, that's right, 103,530. Um, you know, bottom line is that this dollar does want higher price. So we'll see how this, the whole thing shakes out. If we get into that, now let's look at the dailies. So if we take a look at the dailies out here, what you're going to have, it, it, on the dailies too, it's really going to depend on where we close out here today because the higher range inside the spy, okay, is 410.49, you know, so we got up below it yesterday. We'll see how this baby shakes out. I, I really don't see us giving up that many points, but you know what? You can. It all depends on how we come into that bar that I had just shown on the S&P as well as the uh, NASDAQ composite.
We got to take a look at that. Let's go take a look at the oil market. Oil's got a little pounce out here. So oil, oil, let's see. Okay, so the contract is up $3.12. It has 354,000 contracts. That's not bad contract volume. That's that oil. Once you get over 300,000, it's not bad. Well, we, we made a low at 380. You're up with 354. The 354 is going into 360. So that stays and go a little higher. You know, so the consolidation is going to stay on. What did happen? Let me look at this. 7274. 7225. What did happen in the oil market, when we just came down there, we broke that other, the lower swing from the last time, not the prior one that was established out here in December. The reason I bring that up is that what you don't have, okay, you know, you can see this, like, we have lower prices. Um, and, and what you have here is that the last high that we had got over the swing, but then the low we had got under the swing, okay? So that bottom line is, is a toss-up. That's, that's the reality. It's like, a, okay, so where do you want to go with this? We're going to take a look at uh, some of the higher volume equities out here. This is what we have. You have uh, oh, Bed Bath & Beyond, right? We, we got to look at this. This is, this is the game, folks. The bottom line is that, uh, you know, it made a run yesterday. I mean, you talk about getting taken to the cleanest, man. Look at this, look at this chart. This is wild, man. So we kind of... This is yesterday, right? So yesterday it started off at three dollars and eleven cents, closes at a price point of five eighty six, traded to seven oh three. They wake up this morning, and it's cut in half. You know, but this this how this thing is toast. You want to day trade it? Like I said, yeah, you can day trade it. Do not hold, stay overnight on the stock. I mean, it's going to be worth nothing. It's just a matter of when, not if. That's how this works, folks, okay? That, that, that is a reality. Some of the other higher volume equities that we have out here today, we'll see where this shakes out. You got uh, NVIDIA's up $8. We have Advanced Micro up $1.50. Uh, let's go see with Disney. Disney's coming out with numbers tomorrow morning. Disney right now, the low for the year is 84. The high is 157. That's going to be coming out after the market closes tomorrow night. And they're going to be looking to bring to the top line uh, $23.4 billion and 75 cents. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.